Good day. Today we're going to do something that I struggle to find working correctly on the web. Um, and that is take a model that is not in our bundle and I include that in the uh, Swift UI application uh, and allow animations and things like that on the model. So this part will be just the a uh, quick little overview on how I did it. it. may not be the right answer, but it is the answer. I arrived after uh, struggling to utilize the documentation uh, that's available on uh, the developer site. So if you go to the developer site and uh, you, you start to, let's just search for, um, you know, uh, reality kits, uh, you know, add model. Uh, one of the first things you're going to see is that it shows the model entity uh, there and simple, you know, the, the collision, the adding forces, adding torques, all that stuff. Um, and then you, you go to this stored entity area and here are some methods that you're given uh, this functions. Uh, loading from within the bundle, loading from a URL, uh, and loading async from a URL. So when I tried this, I found uh, quickly that uh, it did not work for me um, in, in the way it's declared here. What I found is I had to use the combined framework and uh, cancelable um, to get this to work. So let me show you what I did in here my uh, content view a lot of other stuff going on here so you can ignore that but the first thing you can see I just tried to uh, grab a USGZ file that's not in my project um, here's is one that is um, just for an example uh, here it is over here but I tried to grab one just from the link and the point of this for myself is I want to grab USDC files that are uh, added by any given user and interact with them in my project. So I'm going to um, ask that user for their file and I want it to be renderable in my world, in my own home or wherever I might be. Um, as as this user expects. So if it's a an item like this robot who can walk on a table, then I'm going to uh, have some code that says, "Hey, this I, this this robot or this USD file uh, belongs on this table of this size, or you know the wall, you know horizontal, vertical surfaces, etc." So that's another that's for another day. But what I really want to do is download the uh, file which I did here and then uh, store that file as you can see here move it uh, because if you just download it it will uh, be stored in the temp directory and then be deleted pretty much immediately and this is where things got went a little haywire because I uh, knew I needed to use the cancelable framework um, but uh, I kept getting these unexpected errors and uh, uh, even though I went back to the uh, main here and uh, figured out it was pretty simple simple error but it was just the idea that I didn't I didn't find this on the web anywhere that uh, demonstrates this very well so uh, then let's do the quickest demo so you can see uh, what did I ended up with